Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you my eight week pregnancy update and I'm so excited to be sharing it. I am in a little bit of a different environment today. I'm actually at my work in my office. So yes, I hope the vibrant green wall is suiting me well since I have little to no makeup on. But anyways, let's just get right on into it, shall we? How far along are you? Today I am exactly eight weeks pregnant. Baby size. Today the baby is the size of a gummy bear. I liked that reference the best out of all the ones that I read. I also believe a fig, the size of a fig, which to me a fig is bigger than a gummy bear. Correct me if I'm wrong, but one of my apps said a fig, which I thought was weird. But anyways, we're going with gummy bear. Weight gain. Um, I've actually had no weight gain this week, so that's a good thing. I may have dropped a couple decimals, nothing major. Symptoms. So for my symptoms this week, I have still had the sore boobs. I think not as sore as they've been. Um, I would say my nipples are a little bit more sore than they were though previously. So more so nipple soreness. <laughs> and actually while we're on the topic of boobs, at seven weeks, three days, I was wearing a white t-shirt, no bra. I was just hanging out at home with my daughter and I had this wet spot like around my nipple. I don't know if my boob was leaking or if I, I I was just playing with her so it wasn't like I hit anything wet. I, I honestly cannot think of any other thing that it would be, but I feel like that is just so, so early. It hasn't happened again and I did try to squeeze some milk out to see if maybe that is what it was and I couldn't get anything to come out. So I don't know, maybe it was something else. Did want to mention that though. I had a super oversupply of milk with my daughter. I was very lucky to have a lot of milk with her. So, and I started leaking a little bit with her when I was around 16 weeks pregnant. And that was my first pregnancy. So maybe it is, I don't know. It hasn't happened again, but I'll keep you updated on that. Also that day, seven weeks and three days, I experienced like severe nausea. I was just not feeling good all day long, which has kind of continued on that way. I'm not throwing up by any means, but I just feel nauseous all day long. The only time I don't feel nauseous is like 10 minutes after I eat. And then probably about 20 minutes after that, I start feeling nauseous again. So it's almost like I need to continuously be eating small snacks all day long. It's the only way that I don't feel nauseous, but today I'm actually not feeling too terrible. So we'll see. Still with the constipation and the gas has not let up. I wish it would, but it's still there. Um, all week I've had like just waves of exhaustion. Uh, the past two days in particularly, I've been home with my daughter due to the coronavirus. So I'm home now with her. I'm like playing with her and all of a sudden I just wanna like sleep. Like I'm just so tired, so exhausted. It's crazy, it just like hits me out of nowhere. So the waves of exhaustion. And then the last thing is yesterday when I was seven weeks, six days, I had like severe back pain. I looked it up online and it says that back pain in early pregnancy can be due to stress, which I've been under a lot of. So it's not hard for me to believe that that could have caused that at all. So I'll let you guys know what happens with that. Today I'm, I'm all right, but yesterday it was literally like shooting pains in my back. Cravings. I have been craving donuts from Dunkin' Donuts all week long. I have not gone to get them yet. The ones that I want in particular that I'm like, that I'm really craving are the cake donuts. That's what we call them here. 
they like the blueberry or the chocolate like cake glazed type of donut oh my gosh with a glass of milk just like dunk it in there it's just sounded so good to me all week I literally I want it so bad I have to find a Dunkin that has a drive-through like on my way home today <laughs> where I can stop and pick some up because I've wanted them so so bad how's sleep um, my sleep this week has been not the greatest a couple nights it's been good it's been easy for me to fall asleep because I'm pretty exhausted um, by the end of the day, but staying asleep is rough for me. And part of the problem is I keep waking up having to go to the bathroom and I don't want to get up because when I get up in the middle of the night, I have a hard time falling back asleep. So I just force myself to fall back asleep and then I'm waking up an hour later still having to go to the bathroom. So I don't know. It's a rough way to go. <laughs> I feel like, I don't know if this is going to be an ongoing thing throughout this pregnancy. With my daughter though, I don't remember this happening until much later in my pregnancy when I had a much bigger belly. So we'll see. Gender guess. I'm still going with boy. I'm still feeling like it's a boy. There were a few moments this week where I kind of thought girl, but majority of me is still leaning towards boy. Stretch marks. No new stretch marks. Movement. Other than the like gas I have happening in my stomach or after the meals that I'm eating, no baby movement. Maternity clothes. So I actually ordered some maternity clothes because pink blush was having 40% off and I have hardly any maternity clothes for summer so I did order a few things and I will do a try on haul when that all comes um but I'm not wearing maternity clothes till I've just now that I'm home from work I've just been wearing like sweatpants or leggings so I'm feeling like I'll be able to hang out a couple more weeks without maternity clothes but we'll see best moment of the week my best moment of the week was getting to spend extra time with my daughter that I wouldn't normally get to spend with her. Worst moment of the week. Um, so the worst moment this week had was I had to make the very, very hard decision to close down my business um, at the beginning of the week. It, it's probably been one of the hardest decisions I ever had to make. So if you're unfamiliar, I own a hair salon and we're located here in Ohio and the governor actually, so I ended up closing the salon Tuesday night was our last day working and then the governor actually announced on Wednesday that all salons had to close down by the end of Wednesday anyways. So it made me feel a little bit better, but it was a very, very hard call for me to make. It was very stressful, you know. I still haven't really figured out what's going to happen with like the rent here and all the bills that are I'm still going to have to pay. So it's a very stressful time, which is it just it's stressful for everybody. It's not just me. It's affecting all businesses, all small businesses, all people. You know, it's just crazy. It's a crazy time that I honestly never thought that we would ever live through. So here we are. Do you miss anything? Um, yeah, I feel like at this point I could definitely go for a glass of wine, a nice cold beer, um, still missing Starbucks. I don't know that that will ever dissipate. <laughs> so yes, I am missing things. I'm missing my coworkers as well. I miss them. It's going to be a hard couple of next months, I'm feeling like. Anything make you sick or queasy? Um, I feel like something did make me sick or queasy. I feel like just certain smells. Oh, I can think of one thing for sure. I was cleaning out the fridge and cleaning out like old food containers and whatnot. Not even that old, 
I usually clean the fridge once a week, but whatever I opened up that had been in the fridge, it just, when I opened it, I, I almost lost it. <laughs> so there's that. Um, my dog's breath has been bothering me lately too. It's, you know, pretty bad and I've never noticed it before, but now I feel like that my senses are heightened. I can smell it like across the room and it's really starting to get to me. What are you looking forward to? I have an appointment this upcoming week with my OBGYN. It'll be my first OBGYN appointment. I'll be eight weeks, five days at that time. I am hoping so badly that they don't cancel my appointment, but of course I will understand if they do. Um, I don't know if they will because it'll be my first appointment with my OB. I don't know. I guess we'll see. At this rate in Ohio, things are changing daily. I mean, drastic things are being changed every single day. Every day more businesses are being closed. Every day more people are out of work. It's just Ohio is taking very precautionary measures at this time. So, yeah, we'll see. Rings on or off, they are still on. Belly button in or out, it is currently still halfway in as normal. <laughs> Moody or happy. I, I've actually been, despite everything I've been going through this week, I would say that I have been on the happier side. I mean, the time that I have off right now is time that I never imagined I'd have with my now two and a half year old daughter. So I'm just trying to remind myself of that and focus on that and just cherish every moment and every minute that I have over these next couple of weeks to spend with her because it's time that I honestly never thought I would have. So yeah. Now for the belly shot. My shirt on. And here is with my shirt rolled up. I don't know. What do you guys think? I feel like maybe a tiny bit. I don't know. Maybe not. Nothing. Let me know in the comments. What do you think? Am I starting to have a little bit of a bump? Yay? Nay? So that is it for my eight week update. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Please make sure that you hit that thumbs up button so I know that you did. If you're not subscribed, please hit the red subscribe button so you don't miss my future updates. And let me know in the comments below. Where are you guys from? What's going on in your state? Um, I'm wishing you guys all the best. I hope that everybody is staying safe and healthy. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.